origin, the private spacecraft company owned by newly minted 100 billionaire Jeff Bezos flew the company's new Shepard for the seventh time in West Texas. During the mission, called M7, or Mission 7 for those of you following along at home, the craft featured a next-generation booster as well as the maiden voyage of the first Crew Capsule 2.0. If you recall, the Crew Capsule is Blue Origin's answer to the emerging space tourism market. It has large windows and room for six people to move around and even experience weightlessness with a couple of somersaults. I mean, I mean it's still only like 530 cubic feet for six people, so those somersaults are gonna have to be tight. Keep your form and tuck. The New Shepard reached Mach 2.94. That's 2,255 miles per hour, and the capsule separated when the booster reached about 250,000 feet. The capsule eventually topped out at about 322,400 feet above ground. The booster stuck the landing, which is good since the whole business model revolves around it being reusable, and so did the capsule. It did, it did look like the capsule came in a little hot, but it was actually only going one mile per hour, so, but I mean like it just, that was a big dust cloud. Are we sure that's only one mile an hour? Now all we need to do is put some people in there and make sure they survive as well. But hey, it's only one mile an hour, so I'm sure it's gonna be fine. Just don't do somersaults on your way down. I paid a half million dollars to be here. I'm doing another somersault. Machining porn. The Netherlands is shoring up its coast with an $81 million project that they're calling a sand motor. Sand motors, also known as sand engines, are pretty simple. Basically, the country dredged up 756 million cubic feet of sand from the sea and placed it along the coast. It's the same process that China is using to create islands and seize control of the South China Sea. The Netherlands' motivation seems much more earnest. The idea is that over the next 20 years, waves will crash into the sand, building up the shoreline and protecting the nation's cities from rising sea levels and erosion. Actually, you know what? Take note of this, Florida. That might not be a bad idea. Machining porn. German company Open Mind Technologies is a developer of CAM software. It's the company behind Hypermill CAM software, one of the industry's most advanced software suites. In an effort to flex the software's milling might, the company chose an interesting application. They wanted to cut a basketball hoop out of a 180-pound block of aluminum. The video is mesmerizing and everything you would imagine when you hear the phrase machining porn. Yep. Yep. Machining porn. Let that one stick with ya. Ha! Machining porn! The software provided the five access programming for a job that was machined on a Grobe G350 machining center using conical ball barrel cutters from Texas-based OSG. The Grobe used a 12.6 inch length cutting tool to cut that 180 pound block into a one pound, four ounce basketball hoop. It was a 99.3% material reduction and it has some impressive detail. The application was chosen to show off the software's ability to help mill deep pockets and finish curved shapes. And I'd say, I'd say that it did the trick. It reminds me of my time playing street ball. We couldn't be trusted with those flimsy cloth nets because we'd just destroy them. We only had chains. Also, I never played street ball. I'm David Manti. This is Engineering by Design. Machining porn. Machining porn. Machining porn. Ha! Machining porn. Ha, ha, ha. Machining porn. Ha, ha. Machining porn. <laughs>